Hey, what's up guys? KSK Royal here. Welcome back to another video. It's been a while that I didn't make any videos on MIUI 11 and this is it. MIUI 11 stable based on Android 10 is already here for Redmi K20 Pro. Instead of waiting for the global ROM, I couldn't resist myself to try out the stable Chinese ROM on my K20 Pro. I am baffled about the roadmap of MIUI 11 update and especially when I read this piece of text on Xiaomi's website, I decided to flash the Chinese version of MIUI 11 and guess what it is actually super stable and I have been using MIUI 11 for almost five days now and in this video I will talk about everything in detail so what's new in MIUI 11 let's find out MIUI 11 brings a lot of enhancements and changes to the system that provides a stunning visual user experience of Android. Aesthetically speaking, MIUI 11 is simply beautiful. Now let's start with the default launcher. As I said, this is a Chinese version of MIUI 11. It comes preloaded with a stock MIUI launcher that is so cool to use in daily life. In the previous betas, as I mentioned, uh, this launcher was super buggy, but not anymore. The newly redesigned system launcher may come with a few enhancements that make the whole navigation super snappy. Watch this. Whenever you unlock from the lock screen, the icons and widgets may produce a zoom out animation which is so cool to see. Just look at this in slow motion. All the elements within the launcher may zoom out to the maximum and it sits back to their original positions very easily, just like that. I mean, whenever I unlock my phone, I feel like I'm using iOS. We know that iOS has this beautiful animation effect that will show upon unlocking the lock screen and in MIUI 11 you will get a quite relevant animation which is good to see. Again, iOS animations are not comparable with Android but a big kudos for the Xiaomi team for this approach. This launcher won't come with any app drawer. All of the downloaded applications will be automatically added to the home screen. Now to access the settings of the default launcher, you either pinch in anywhere from the home screen, just like that, or long pressing on the empty space from the home screen will do the same. Now let's take a look at the brand new wallpapers which are present in MIUI 11. These are a few brand new static wallpapers added to the system which are quite amazing. Along with these static wallpapers you will find a new section called dynamic where you get to see some dynamic wallpapers that changes the look and feel of the wallpaper based on time. Talking about the customization of the home screen, it's pretty easy now. For example, you can move all of the applications or games in bulk from one screen to another screen without any hard work. Check this out. I am going to select all of these applications and I'm going to try to move all selected applications at once to another screen. To do so, bring up the launcher controls by pinching in from the home screen, just like that. And now, if you notice, the launcher may let you uh, select the applications. I'm going to go ahead and select all of these applications by simply tapping on these icons just like that. Once I have selected these applications, hold anywhere on the app and if I try to drag, you can see that I have created a bundle of applications that are actually letting me to move across the pages very easily. And notice that snake movement it is actually damn cool. Now when you're inside at this bundle mode, you can use another finger to go to any home screen and dump these applications just like that. How cool is that? Along with that, you can also make a group with the selected applications, which is simple. Again, I use a pinching gesture on the home screen to bring up selection mode. Uh, then select the application you want to make a group them according to your fancy and then tap on the group button and that's it. Congratulations, you have successfully created a folder. Now swiping to the right from the home screen uh, will bring up the app wall section where you get to see some shortcuts that lets you quickly access the recently opened applications. Again, this feature is quite similar to Siri suggestions. 
Now it's time to check out the notifications panel. It's just the same notifications panel which was present in MIUI 10. There's nothing new in terms of user interface. Only the thing which you will get is the dark mode toggle. You can now toggle between the light and dark mode uh, with this button simply. Uh, you can simply tap on this button just like that uh, to switch between a light and dark themes. Keep in mind this is a system wide dark mode uh, that works with third party applications along with the uh, dark mode toggle you will get a me share toggle which lets you transfer the data at higher speeds between supported devices now in me 11 you will no more be able to jump into settings from the notifications panel there is no settings gear I can present within the notifications panel which may be a bit of problem for me I always access my settings page from the notifications panel and I hope we may see this feature will be added in the global ROM now talking about the notifications in MIUI 11 and Android 10, these notifications are divided into two sections. One is called normal notifications where you get to see all information about applications. Another one is called unimportant notifications or silent notifications. Unimportant notifications are ongoing notifications which may persistently stay there forever until you decide to force close the application and this is opposite to the normal notifications. Now with the normal notifications, a swipe to the right on any individual notification will dismiss it and swiping to the left will bring up the settings gear icon where you control the notification settings of that particular application. Now in MIUI 11 you need to hold on the group notifications to reveal more content instead of using a two finger gesture. When it comes to settings application, in MIUI 11, you will get a brand new settings application that has completely reimagined from scratch. You can see all the settings in a list view and each cell has a brand new logo, which is fantastic. The settings application is so clean, it's pretty easy to navigate across multiple options very easily. The brand new font of MIUI 11 looks so beautiful. It is applied throughout the system, especially the settings application with this new font looks super refined. Talking about the lock screen customizations, MIUI 11 brings a lot of customizations for the lock screen in the form of ambient display and this feature is sort of limited to the K20 series only. The all new always on display has been taken to the next level. As you can see, there are a lot of themes available that lets you customize the always on display according to your fancy. Along with the ambient display, MIUI 11 brings a new way to show up the notifications. Every time you get a notification, and you get to see this beautiful flashing animation on the lock screen which will impress you without any doubt. Now when it comes to battery department, you get to see this new refined and more informative battery setting where you can enable or disable the ultra power saving mode and this ultra power saving mode is too aggressive which will block all of the background processes, animations and performance to get the most out of it. Once you have enabled it, the estimated time of the battery backup will be up to a week which is a lifesaver while traveling or in emergencies. Now, the digital well-being got a new name in MIUI 11, uh, which is uh, redefined as screen time, where you get to see the usage of your device in detail. It's a dubbed version of digital well-being, uh, which is present in stock Android 10. I feel like screen time is more like iOS, and I consider it's a pretty neat feature could have on any phone. This screen time is also bundled with a focus mode, which lets you restrict the usage of applications from distraction. Let's say if you are addicted by any application or game well you can tell the system to prevent you from distraction by setting a limit on a specific application so that it will no longer be bothered with annoying notifications we know that Android 10 comes with system-wide navigation gestures and when it comes to MIUI 11, these navigation gestures haven't got any major update. It is just the same navigation gestures that you are currently using on MIUI 10. All I can say is that these navigation gestures are not so smooth as compared to stock Android 10 and also swiping from bottom left or right doesn't do anything and it won't let you quickly move to previously opened applications which is sort of bummer. 
When it comes to performance, I would say it's a much better update than MIUI 10. Overall performance is top notch from big games to small applications. Everything was super snappy. I have played PUBG at heavy settings on my Redmi K20 Pro and the performance was super awesome and I do get 60 FPS or frames per second on my K20 Pro without any lag or stuttering. I have noticed while playing PUBG at extreme HDR mode, the phone may tend to heat up a little bit and it's not a major issue to worry about. Lastly, the battery backup on MIUI 11 is much better than MIUI 10 according to my usage. I got 7 plus hours of screen on time usage on my K20 Pro with moderate usage. So the bottom line of this video, MIUI 11 is a better update and I haven't noticed any difference between Android 9 and Android 10 and at the end of the day, it's just an incremental update to MIUI. Also, one more thing, when the global stable ROM of MIUI 11 rolls out, you may find a little bit of differences when compared to the Chinese version. If you want to install this update, check our website from the link down below. And just in case, if you have liked this video, then smash the like button down there and try to subscribe to this channel if you want to stick with my content. And thanks for watching. This is KSK Royal. Peace out.